Public health officials in the U.S. tracking the coronavirus disease have seen disproportionate impact on African Americans. Virologist Cindy Duke, speaking on the Now Show, explains why this is so. Progression to the disease, COVID-19, is particularly increased in people with underlying health disorders like diabetes, asthma, high blood pressure, and unfortunately, here in the United States in particular, people of African descent tend to have more of those conditions. Couple that with, unfortunately, there are a number of rumors, I'm sure it happened in Trinidad too, where there are all these rumors that were saying that people who, you know, black people, people of African heritage were immune to mm -hmm. the virus. Dr. Duke says this, coupled with other factors, the black community has been found to be more susceptible to other ethnic groups. Well, there are lots of communities here in the United States with what we call food deserts, meaning they don't have access to fresh, nutritious food in their neighborhood. And so you'd have to travel out of neighborhood as opposed to purchasing from, say, the corner store that usually has processed or junk food. Um, and then you couple that with not much access to either healthcare in the form of insurance, because the healthcare system here is different from, say, the standard public healthcare system in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. 